Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the show. And I've got my guest, Corey Hyde, who is on the show. And uh, we were talking earlier about Jamaica Moves. But one thing we missed out on is some of the contact and the hashtag for Jamaica Move. Corey, if you can elaborate on some of that links. If All I'm right. Um, to get in touch with, with Jamaica Moves UK, it's jamaicamovesuk at yeah. gmail.com. We yeah. want to, to see your videos. Yeah, we, we, yes, yes, Silburn. Yes. I want you to record yourself doing some exercises yes. and, and send it to us. And if you're posting on social media, it's a simple hashtag. Mm. Make healthy happen now. I thought you were going to say make healthy great again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what, you know, you're making yourself great again if you're healthy. So hashtag yeah. Yeah. make healthy happen now. Okay. Um, it's as simple as that. So can one of my videos, which is out there, break dancing, even with you, can that be use again and uh, of course that? and over and over again because uh, so you know, we can put that we can, so we can put that video at you and me when we're break dancing yes man of and, course. And, and that is making healthy great uh, make again make healthy happen no of course making healthy happen now make healthy happen now right so ladies and gentlemen make healthy happen now is a hashtag and make sure that you send in a, a video how long is it? Long um, just under one minute because we will be posting on Instagram. Of course, okay. we got the Facebook um, page, which is still Jamaica Moves UK. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's all I think so. And the email address again? Just Jamaica Moves UK at Gmail. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you tune in and get involved with Jamaica Moves. All right? Fantastic. Now, Corey, the next thing I want to talk about and um, is Break Jam. You're off for a year, isn't it? it was yeah, a holiday. last year, yeah. last year, 2018, we yes. were, were off for that year. Yeah. And there were a lot of things happening in Montego Bay, which mm. is the home of Brit Jam. Yes. Uh, a lot of uncertainty. We had the diaspora questioning, is it safe to go to Jamaica? Um, we don't want to be tied into a hotel. That's not, you know, what we want to spend seven days or 14 days. Yes, just yes. Doing, just being in a hotel and on the sands. We yes. want to be in, involved in the day-to-day -day running of Montego Bay, put yes. it that way. Yes, you know, we yes. want to see the sites and all of those things, and they were uncertain. So it made a lot of sense to just take the hiatus. Um, take a look at review of it. Yeah, and review yeah. and make sure that, you know, it, it, is, it is safe for everybody, you know, not just from security point of view, yes. but just for personal, you know, personal sanity. Yes, you yes. know, that sort of thing. So we took that break. It was really calculated. Mm. But it, it, it proved to be beneficial in the end anyway. So we're back out with the ninth staging. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to 2020 with it, which is, you know, I think it's significant, yeah. 2020. For those who don't know Brick Jam and the history of Brick Jam, can you sort of give us sort of a, a quick breakdown of what, where the concept came from and, and with the generation in the UK linking with the generation in Jamaica? Right, okay. It's, it's a millennial concept, um, basically. It started uh, with the vision of, one Rowan Willery and myself mm. were looking at, well, I, I started doing spring break in the UK and everybody yeah. thought I was a madman, yes. right? Uh, there's no spring break in, in the United Kingdom. Come on, mate, it's, look at the weather. It's winter break. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's winter right through, yes. you know? And I, I braved the odds and I, and I took groups right across um, the UK. Yes. And we had, we had theme parties and I remember one year we culminated in Stratford Rex. And for those who remember Stratford Rex, mm. and at the time, um, Rowan Woolery was having an event, a weekly event in Stratford Rex. Yes. And we, we teamed up and we delivered a great event, a phenomenon. Yes. And people talk about it so this weeks thing. on end. Yeah. And, and he said, boy, you know, something like this would work best in, in, in Jamaica. Mm. So. He spoke to his friends, I spoke to my friends. Um, he was on the, the DJ circuit, was on radio yes, at the time. Yes, yes. And, you know, I have a, a little bit more control on the, on the business side yes, of, yes. Of, of things. I see how we could put it together. Yeah, we, we brainstormed yeah. and we came up with the name Brit Jam. Mm. Absolutely smashed it. As British Jamaican. British Jamaican yeah. uh, millennials 
sharing a common interest and going to Jamaica. A lot of them have never, ever been to Jamaica. So by saying millennial, do you then... Um do you, do you sort of discriminate then against uh, No, who are not at all, because of, um, no. that's the group that he started with. Right. And, and as Richard, so I'm invited then? Um, of course, because uh, let me tell you something. Yeah. For those who have never been to Jamaica, their parents actually travel with them. Yes. They stay in the hotels. Okay. Right? So they say, all right, fine, you've never been to Jamaica, I'm going with you. Yeah. All right, you, you want to go so much, I'll take you to Jamaica. Yes. So they, they'll spend the seven nights um, in the hotels, and then they go visit <coughs> family afterwards. Yes. That sort of thing. So we deliver uh, an itinerary over seven days yes. um, at the time. And we said, all right, fine. You're on your own um, for the next seven days. Because mm. you know when British um, persons go home, they don't spend one week. Yeah. It's always two and three weeks. And if they give them a month, they will stay there. They'll leave their job to live back in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing. So that's the birth of, of British. And we went down with, with pretty close to 250 mm. um, persons. Um, and 2017, we saw 1,746 mm -hmm. um, coming coming in. Yes, and 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 the one thing with Brick Jam is, is you also linking Jamaicans in the UK, like um, first first generation or third generation Jamaicans. Um, predominantly third third generation, third generation, yeah. but it's also spread across the third, first generation. Yeah. For Investment purposes. Yeah. I, I noticed you got some very good price deals here. I was looking at the hotel price. Um, Rio Reggae, along with Breathless Secrets and Holiday in 470 to 550 per person for seven nights. Is that per night or for this full night? <laughs> um, there, there's the deal. You, you may have seen that from the, the deck yeah. that, that was sent, sent over. I've got these prices based on the, the group the group packages, yeah, that sort of thing. And um, it's, it's often twinned with the, the flight itself. But yes. Bridgham, we don't sell flights and accommodation. So it's, it's got to be uh, a package, a, a package um, from the, the, the airline or from a travel agent right, themselves. Right. And so the breakdown, once you separate the, the, the flight cost, you look at it and say, whoa, this is amazing to right. spend. So this is correct yeah. then, 470 to 50, 550 course, per person for the seven night, not seven, one night. Not one night. Because I was just looking night. at it and said, wow, wow, maybe I should just go to Jam and just call it a holiday then and just go about my business. A lot of it. persons do that, Silver. Yeah. A lot <coughs> of persons do that. Yeah, yeah. So tell me now, um, so what's, what's the, in link with the, the diaspora, you know, the whole diaspora initiative, mm -hmm. Is, is it something working in concert then with Brit Jam when you have that? Because, you know, I think next year, this year, they're going to have a diaspora conference yes, in Jamaica. In Jamaica yeah. And also you have been involved with the youth arm of the diaspora. Not so much a youth anymore, but yes, I've been involved yes, in yes, for yes. many years. Um, yes. Is there sort of linkage, some sort of synergy? There? All right. Let me tell you what the synergy is. Yeah. Once the, the Brit Jammers go, once they go and they fall in love with Jamaica, yeah. we have the, the skills mapping. Yeah. Um, oftentimes they want to reinvest in the country um, through real estate, yes. so they buy a little property. And what I find happening with Brit Jam is that a lot of the Brit Jammers, they, once they acquire a property, they have different staying in their property. Yes. And they make yes. some money from that as well. And the link here, because we work very well with Victoria Mutual, Mm. Um, oftentimes, they will seek a mortgage from VM, right. and VM has always supported um, Britjam. Yes, they do the UK launch, and and that now it gives a lot of credence to the brand itself because persons know that okay, here here is a, a trusted corporate um, entity, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. that we can we can have a conversation with, and with my newfound love for Jamaica, mm. I can probably set up a business, <coughs> yeah. or move back to, yeah. to a holiday home. Um, not just a holiday home, but a retirement home, yes. that sort of thing. And with the help of parents and relatives who have got probably property already in Jamaica, mm. it's an easy sale and an easy exchange. Right, so therefore, yeah. in a way, you're actually bringing, forth, uh, bringing as well investment, investment into Jamaica, in Jamaica as well, yeah. with Jamaica benefits in a way. And of course, it is so important because with the Windrush factor, mm -hmm. what we are seeing whereby the elderly are actually passing on. Yes. You have to be real about that. Yeah. Me. So therefore, we've got to engage with the younger ones to keep that linkage, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So that is a very yeah. fundamental aspect of the, yes. the Brit Jam process. Um, you know, when, when, we're, when we're looking at the third generation as well, we have to remember that some of them have got um, affinity to other countries. Yes. Uh, but because of the vibe, you know, the, 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 the 
killers of, of interest that we're trying to lure um, individuals back to Jamaica. Yes. Number one, the food. Yes. Gastronomy is big. Yes. All right. Um, the, as we mentioned, real estate earlier still burn. Yeah. You know, having a holiday home um, as an investment, you know, it is it's a win. Yes. It is win-win. Yes. You know, yes. additional yes. Um, income. Yes. And um, and with the hope to retire. Yes. Um, there's, there's there's several other things you, you, you can look yeah. at. You know, it's, it's, it's win. It's, well, it's well, win. I guess it's a very funda fundamental concept, and um, I, I think it is something to be encouraged. Um, so you have, this is the flyer here, officialbrickjam.com, ultimate spring break. Um, when is it again? This year is going to be March 6th to 10th. So March we're doing to five 10. days this year. Oh, March 6th to 10th. So therefore, mm. things are moving very, very, very fast. quickly. But yeah. we, still, we, we still have um, space for supporting us. So still burn if you want to uh, jump on and, and do a bit of sponsorship, of course. Yes, anyway. yes, yes. <laughs> I, I want to ask you this question. Um, I, I didn't plan to ask it, but, you know, recently when people were saying in Jamaica, uh, Jamaicans overseas, not to come back to Jamaica because mm -hmm. of the crime and everything like that, and very prominent voices were saying that I was one of those persons who counteracted that negative voice by saying, never give up on your home. Mm -hmm. How do you sell it through that negative vibe? All right, Jamaica is loved. Yes. Jamaica is loved. Mm -hmm. And we have persons with great rationale. Yes. You know, they, 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 they see things and they can match, okay, what is happening in other parts of the world? Yes. Um, how is the media um, reporting the things that are happening? Yes. Um, is it concentrated? Is it only in a, in, in a, in a little pocket? Yes. All right. Yes. So I am good. I am all right. I'm going to Jamaica. Yes. And, and I know yes. that the media has got to make some money somehow. Mm. Um, so it will be amplified to get the ears and the eyes. Yes. And, you know, with that bit of rationale, remember, you know, we're not dealing with, um, you know, persons who are not um, connecting or, or intellectually potent. Yes. So, you know, we are, we are dealing with persons who know, have their wits about And them. very social, and very social, social, social media savvy at the same time. Very And they read way. a lot. Yeah. Right. So, the love for Jamaica is, is, is not waning in any shape or yes. form. The, the care and, the, and how cautious you yes. are, yes. Um, that is now a little bit amplified yes. because you don't want to be in the so-called wrong place at the wrong time. Yes. Yes. Now, to say this, being in the right place at the right time guarantee what you call Straight out of the orchard. Straight out of the orchard. Straight out of the orchard. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so it yeah. is. It, 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 it is. It's not a, a great dichotomy. Um, yes. Still burn. It, 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 it's, it's, it's nothing that we're gonna say, boy. Forget Jamaica. Right off Jamaica. Yeah. You understand what is happening in Jamaica, and you look at what has been done. Yes. To to deal with what is happening in Jamaica and yes. the reassurance of okay. Jamaica is all right to come home, it's still one love. Right. That right. sort of thing. Um, Siburn, if you're my brother. Mm. I'm your I, brother. Siburn is my brother. Yes. And I have five pairs of shoes. Yes. Right. And I say, Siburn, wear everything but the black one right there. Yeah. Right. And you ignore everything and you wear the black one. Mm. On the day, I'm going to tell you, say, don't wear it. And yeah. I wanted to wear it. Don't I go and feel, feel away about it? Yeah, but you're, mm. you're, but you're going to sell me your brother. Sell yeah. Me yeah, I said, but boy, look what my brother doing. And you know, I said, boy, I can't believe that my brother do that. And rare. So it is. Yeah, I like what you say that because my brother do it and stuff like that. And it shows that sort of um, commonality because they always yeah. say there's more which is positive and together than the negative aspect as well. Of in Jamaica, you know. Uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I must wrap up in a sense by saying that this is a good concept and it is something that needs to be encouraged. And kudos to you for keeping the fire and keeping it going because at the end of the day, Corey, we have to big up yard. Of course. I mean, we have to do it. Um, this is that's for tourism in, in, in its place. Yes, spirit. yes. You know, we, we are, we are, we are a small parcel of, of the, 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 the tourism sector. Yes. Right? There's, there's a bigger picture, um, which is the, the, 50, the, the, the 50 to the 63 million persons you want to get on the shore. Yes. But you know, for, for the 30,000 a year that we can market to, to get to Jamaica yes. and, and fall in love with Jamaica so that Jamaica mm. flourish so that the 50 to 63 million 
to uh, see that it's all yes. right. I have to, I, I have to, I have to make sure that I put a lot of energy behind yeah. this. What's the vision? What's the long-term vision for Big Jam? Um, the long-term vision is to move into to other territories because we are Bridgeham Global, okay. um, bringing the concept to, to other countries uh, for them also to fall in love with Jamaica. Yes. Um, let, for those who don't have a spring break experience, yes. right, to give them a spring break experience. And, yes. and, and why I mentioned spring break experience, summer is summer. Yes. And any Jamaica's got summer 24-7. Yes, yes. But you've got countries We've got only a winter and a little bit mm. of spring. Mm. So we're encouraging them, okay, fine, come in your spring if you can't move in your winter. Yes. You know, that sort of thing. And March to June offer that, 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 that wow. opportunity. Wow. Uh, that's a great little window. It's not, not quite expensive, and you can, you, you can do that. Fantastic. Cool. Cool. Well, that's fantastic. And um, ladies and gentlemen, you heard about... Brick Jam, and you've heard about Jamaica Moves, two major movements, and it shows you that um, <laughs> Jamaica is on the move, really. And if you don't get on the move, you're going to get left behind. But make sure your, t your young people, your families, and especially children, uh, well, not even just children, but, you know, um, those who are double mill millennials. You have double millennials? Well, I can, I can <laughs> probably fall in that, you know, because we live life all over again. <laughs> Double millennials. Do get involved with Big Jam. And thank you so much for coming on. Corey, listen, I want to thank you so much for coming on um, to the show. And we'll talk about some more. And of course, Definitely. you know, so thank you so much for my guest, Corey Heights. And we spoke about all the different um, projects which he's doing. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And see you again at the next time. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silburn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comment, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.